Literally after I unboxed the Waypo WRM, another puzzle is here. So, part two of that promise being kept. So this one will be a rather simple unboxing. We have the MF3RS in here. I've tried one, but it wasn't a very good one from a classmate. So yeah, I'm curious to see what this one feels like. So let's just get into it. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's get one in this bag. Uh, oh, whoopsies. Oh no, oh no, I ripped part of the box. Oh no. So here's the MF3RS, pretty normal box. Nothing too special about it. I have like 20 of these, so I don't need that. All right, pretty, pretty standard shades from Moyu, like a couple years ago. First turns. So back when this first came out, it was a pretty good budget cube. I think it was regarded as one of the best budget cubes during its time. No, it's just a pretty mediocre uh, budget cube. Not that it's bad or anything. But for the price of this, you can get magnetic cubes. So in terms of, you know, price with like the capability of this puzzle, it's a bit outdated. But it doesn't mean it's bad. It does not. Corner cutting. 45. Uh, very hard. Very hard to get past 45, then again, it's tensioned. Not so good. Bit of spring noise as well, in reverse. About two thirds. The suck tensions from this for me doesn't feel too good out of the box. So I feel like once I set it up, it will definitely be much better. But this will be a pretty good, you know, on the go puzzle if I just want to go somewhere. And I just want to have a puzzle with me. Now, should you get this with all the other puzzles out there? Probably not considering, again, you know, magnets, five bucks, and there are puzzles that for maybe two bucks more, you can get magnets and more modern performance out of them. But if you have a pretty good MF3 RS, don't feel too bad because puzzles haven't really changed that much in the last few years. Like it wasn't a jump from like, say, Xant G2 way long as there was like GTS2 to GTS3. So yeah, this is an overall pretty decent budget cube. Can't really compare to modern day puzzles, but a nice throw on puzzle. So that's the end of this short unboxing. Nothing too much to say about the MF3 RS. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.